Welcome back to TK Tennis. Today we have an interesting topic that is essentially a follow-up to the two previous videos on whether lighter rackets or heavier rackets are better, fact or fiction. I think there's a really important point that we failed to mention during either of those two videos, and that is swing speed and how swing speed may affect your preference for a heavier racket or a lighter racket. And I know it sounds obvious, but we didn't talk about it and I want to thank those in the comments who have talked about heavier rackets and how much they disagreed with my chart that I'll post right up here. And those of you that have agreed with the chart regarding your preference of swing weights. When it comes to swing weight, what I believe, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and whether this applies to you, whether you like a heavier racket or a lighter racket, does the swing speed impact your preference and how much? The premise here is simple. Those of you with fast swings and more acceleration probably prefer swing weights that are in the lower end and racket weights that are on the lower end of that chart that I have. And those of you have have more deliberate, smoother swings without as much acceleration probably prefer heavier rackets. And it makes sense, right? So think about it. So if you're someone who has a fast swing speed, you need to be able to accelerate quickly. And the lighter the racket is, you can accelerate on contact much easier than you can if the racket's heavier. And those of you who have very deliberate swings and smooth swings, you probably prefer a racket with more mass because that's gonna be able to impart pace and heft on the ball and maintain the stability of the racket because you're not swinging quite as fast. And the object in motion, which is the racket, isn't moving as fast in terms of momentum where someone who has a lighter racket that's swinging faster that lighter racket still has more momentum because of its swing speed. So that's my thought on the matter that I wanted to address. And what's interesting is you can probably find this on the Pro Tour or compare your players and look at this on the Pro Tour. So if you take a few examples, let's take Djokovic, Sinner, and Alcaraz and compare their swing weights and their swing speeds. Let's take Djokovic as the first example. He plays with a very heavy racket, 360 to 370 grams, with a high swing weight. If you look at his strokes, his strokes match the thing that he's playing with, which is a heavier racket. He doesn't have exceptional swing speed and acceleration through the ball relative to that level compared to someone like Carlos Alcaraz, who plays with a much lighter racket. When you have a deliberate, smoother swing, you may want the mass, and that shows with Djokovic where Alcaraz on the other end of the spectrum, who uses a relatively very light racket, reported to be 325 to 330 in terms of swing weight, for the Pro Tour, he has very aggressive, very fast swings, and he prefers a lighter racket. And then you can take Sinner as well, who plays with a 325 gram racket in terms of static weight with 340 swing weight. Relatively on the lower end for the Pro Tour, very fast swing speeds, and that applies to him as well. You see that the players with faster swing speeds tending to use rackets that are a little bit lighter. And those, those pros with more smooth swings are using a little bit more heft. The outcome is relatively the same, but their swing speeds and their strokes are determining the type of racket that they prefer. The question is to you and to everybody watching, if you're someone that swings with a lot of acceleration, I suspect you probably like rackets that are in the lower end of my recommended range. And alternatively, if you are someone that has a very deliberate, smooth swing uh, and maybe not as much acceleration, you probably prefer a racket with more heft. It just makes sense. You see it on the Pro Tour and it's something that we forgot to talk about in the first two videos. Thanks for watching. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. Please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.